Good day, YouTube. Today is the 28th, I think, of October 2018, a few days away from Happy Halloween. And what in the world are we preparing to do today? Well, welcome to Glenn Speed Shop, where we have more projects than we have time. And I work on what I want to work on. And it's been a couple of years, I think, since I started the rewiring of my 1974 Cushman Truckster. Um, I bought this, oh gosh, now how long ago? I bought both of these. The 55 Truckster and the Meter Made Truckster, which this was probably in an industrial environment actually, but oh, four years ago, let's just say, maybe five. Um, didn't run or nothing, um, but it does now. It runs really good. I had to spend like $100 for one component in the carburetor that broke when I took it apart like the main jet is only available one guy has them and he gets a lot of money for them and but what could I do I had to have it um, I couldn't buy parts or carburetor anywhere else so I did what I had to do bought the bought the part for just dang near 100 bucks but it runs great but it hasn't run in a couple years and uh, I don't want to let it sit uh, another couple years before it runs again so I thought I'd maybe get after this wiring. I don't know how long I'll work on it today. Um, I'm going to get in a late start, but I had a few other little projects to do. Um, and I can't remember where I've left off. Luckily, though, you can see I made myself some notes as I was tracing out the wires. Hot. And when I was up here, I see I've lived myself some notes. Green, relay, red, hot, pink. Start. Oh, look at that white with green, black on. If I can just turn it on my notes. And there's a switch for something. I know I put a little light in it in the cab. Um, turn signals were there. Headlight here. I wish I could do something different for a headlight because I don't have the ring that attaches the bulb to the base there. But I'll come up with something. Um, I know I got a, a new th a speedometer cable, um, turn signal flasher, the back lights are already LEDs, they were actually LEDs when I bought it, which is cool, and remember it's completely full of gas, the gas gauge doesn't work, I want to correct that, excuse me, eventually, um, I know I adjusted the valves, replaced valve cover gaskets in it, I rebuilt the wheel cylinders, put everything back on, I have not replaced the master cylinder, and I believe it was leaking, and I don't suspect that I have any brakes. Oh, um, you know what? I think I do have brakes. That's cool. <laughs> uh, when I got it, the clutch was froze. Um, the plate was froze to the um, flywheel, but uh, all I did is get underneath there with a screwdriver and a hammer and tap it a few times, and that became free. The clutch works good. This is a parking brake. You just pull it like that all the way around. It'll go over center and stop. I even have that adjusted. It works well. I reupholster a seat. It's very dirty. I need to clean that or I'm going to get as dirty as that is. And maybe pick up a few tools that are still sitting around in here. I have to go online and find something for turn signals. Definitely want them to be LEDs. Big obnoxious would be fine. Um, and I... I remember bolting some angle iron to there because there well, used to be a front fender on this thing, but it is gone. The front end of this thing was just mashed. I spent a whole day banging this out and kind of bolting things back together. It, it'll never be great, but uh, I'll just uh, like spray bed liner the thing. And who will care? I do have the rubber seal to uh, redo the windshield. Because I bought a hundred feet of that stuff. I believe I even put a new wiper blade on it. Yeah. New wiper blade. And the wiper works. The wiper works. I think it's just got a little motor on it. Yeah. See there? These were licensed for the street. I believe they go 40, 45 miles an hour. Might be scary. And believe it or not, somewhere in here is the speedometer. Uh, 
This thing's gone over 50,000 miles. Yeah, 50,000 miles on this little thing. Unbelievable. But true. The fenders are not the greatest shape. I have straightened them out best I can. Had these rub rails on them. I straightened them out best I can. Or as good as they're going to get. How about that? The bed's actually pretty straight. Tailgate's nice and straight. The battery's over there. I got it on the charger. Um, I think it's coming back okay. Um, the back of the cab is... Decent straight, top's okay. You know, it's just average. Um, not much rust in it or anything. So I'm going to start fiddling around with the wiring here today, this morning, and see how far I get. Um, my goal for the day maybe isn't necessarily to finish it up, but get a list of um, things I need to order for it. I see it's got a, a heavy-duty uh, flasher for the turn signals. And when you run all LEDs, it's going to have to be an electronic one because there's not enough current draw to heat up the the bimetal element in the flasher and make it flash. They'll just come on and stay on unless you run incandescent bulbs. But why do that? So I'll order an electronic flasher, figure out what kind of lights I can get to cover the holes there. These are access holes. You know, they're pretty munched. So... <laughs> I make bigger plates for them. It'll cover up the rest of the crud. Uh, this is a air conditioner. Yeah, see there. It's uh, the linkage is all here. It's just unbolted for the moment. So there's something to start on. I should be doing well. There's all kinds of things I could do around here, but again, I work on what I want to work on. And lately, I've uh, rewatched probably for the third time uh my i guess my number one favorite uh, youtuber musty one um has a, a newer version of this cushman he has doors and a heater and everything um that he got from udizzy and i think uh that inspired me to get this wiring buttoned up so that it can start this and uh, move it around under its own power kind of deal this one does run and ride too, but it hasn't been started in as long as this one. So maybe I'll get them both started and run. Um, maybe I need to change the fuel out or stuff like that because I don't want the carb to go bad again. Um, I've cleaned it up and it runs great, idles great, um, no problems. It's a great shape, original air cleaner, put new air filter in it. Um, has original mechanical fuel pump. Most of them have been changed to electric by now and this one might be uh needing to be have that done eventually too so there we go um 74 cushman truckster let's get into the wiring and i'll come back when i have something to show you and we're back it's actually probably been a few hours um and i took a little break went and grabbed some lunch so i have the ignition switch items sorted out this had a plug in you know, a, a large multi-conductor plug that plugged into the back of the original ignition switch. And most of the uh, connections were corroded, melted. They were pretty bad. <clears throat> I, you know, after a couple of years, I kind of forgot what I had going on in here. Over in this little pocket over here, I had an ignition switch with a key. And I started to install it, thinking that's what I had planned. And as I started... To sort out the switch, I had the hot wire connected to it and had my test light looking at uh, what position the switch needed to be in for on, accessory, start, etc. And nothing worked. So I threw it away and thought I was going to run down to the store and get one. Then I remembered I had this box sitting over on the uh, shelf over in my garage that had a it was a green box. I probably checked it. And uh, it had an ignition switch in it. It's a uh, doesn't have the accessory position when you rotate to the left, but it has an on position and a start. Good enough for this. So I had to extend some wires, fix some wires, shrink tube some wires. I think I have it all sorted out. Um, and it does now uh, go on. Right now the light's on because I have it on a toggle switch, which is hanging out the front. I think it goes in that hole. So, it's been at least two years since this thing has run. But, I think it is high time that it run again. And uh, it does crank, but I haven't tried to crank it enough to start it. This still has a mechanical fuel pump in it, so it's going to have to crank a while. 
to get fuel up to the carburetor. It is full of fuel because I remember overfilling it. it spilled out everywhere. But I'm sure the carburetor is completely dry of fuel. But I don't think it'll take too long to pump fuel up in it. But, you know, you never know. It's been a while. Uh, check to see how much memory card I got. Okay, yeah, we got 20 more minutes worth. That's cool. So let's try to crank it. Let's see if this thing will run. I think I can get some starting fluid shot in there. I'll be right back. Let me grab some starting fluid. I should have grabbed it in the beginning. <sighs> the air cleaner is still attached. Get you a little closer. But there's a opening right here. Let's try it. Nice to hear it run again. I redid the exhaust too. There's still no fuel in the fuel filter. From the other side, so I could rev it, maybe that'll help. <clears throat> hmm. Well, I'll tell you what, I think I'll shut you off for a second, and uh, I might have to rig something here. Somewhere or another, I'm going to have to get the fuel up there. And if it's all air in the line, you know, air doesn't like to pump. So I might take air compressor or something, pressurize the tank to get a little uh, fuel in the filter. Check back with you in a minute. Okay, I've been uh, shooting some air in the tank with a rag on top. And I finally got it to fire on fuel that's pumped up there, so let's see if it'll run for a while. <coughs> Move you over here. Little bit. 
pump anything into the filter. these 
or I know one of them is the uh, it's the inside of the speedometer cable. I did have to buy the whole thing, although I probably should have. I don't know what this is. I don't remember. Probably something I needed. Oh yeah, this was a just a vacuum fuel pump. I actually got this for my Fishman golf cart project. That's where it ended up. I wondered where it was. Take clear path. Take this out and drive it a bit. It's great to hear it run again. It's been a while. Glad it runs. I don't even, don't even have to jack it up, take it off the wheels. Nice! Well, YouTube, I think we'll call this a video on this one. The 74 Cushman Truckster. I think they call them a Truckster Hallster. Somebody told me that. Uh, get this stuff off the roof for you. All falls down. Um, I might uh, fiddle around with some wiring and get on the computer and look for some lights and things like that so I could button this up. But I got all the ignition stuff done. That was the hard stuff. Now it's just the lights and so forth. And I have them sorted at, at everything working. So it's just a matter of new lights. I think I'll find uh, lights up front that also have uh, 
uh, like a parking light, just a two filament like LED. So it can be on on a kind of a low beam and then still have a turn signal. Um, these things will need all the help they can get being seen. There's holes in the roof too. There was a beacon up there at some point. See the light? And I have one kicking around here somewhere. I think it's a, a neon flasher strobe. I'll have to find it and see if it's suitable for installing on this thing. We'll put it up there and put a wire to it and it can have a blinky blinky. All right, guys, gals, thanks for watching, commenting, subscribing, and uh, I'll been around with this thing for a while.